What's up EuroLeague fans, this is Dora Pandeli. Welcome to another EuroLeague Pick Empire by Ardu Prime. Are you ready to go over some remarkable performances from round 29? And of course to talk about all the play of possibilities for this upcoming round? Let's go! Maccabi has won three games in a row, and sender Joe Snebo has been at the heart of it all with back-to-back double-doubles. He has collected at least 10 boards in three of his last four games, and his 14 in round 29 against Basconia were the most of any other player in the round. He matches up against as well sender Yusuf Afal this week. Fall was the only other player in round 29 to post a double-double with 13 points and 12 rebounds. Elio Cobo of Monaco scored 21 points and this 5 assists against Virtus Secafredo Bologna last week in his finest game in the second half of this season. Okobo has averaged 17 points and 4.7 assists over his last three games and will be relied on for another strong performance this week against Valencia as Monaco looks to wrap up a playoff spot. Barcelona snapped a two-game slide last week by beating Gvernos Vesta and superstar Nikola Mirotic was again at the heart of things. After missing the start of the season to injury, Mirotic has found his top form and he's the league's leading scorer in the month of March with 21.8 points per game. This week he visits Panathinaikos, against which he's averaged 21.7 points and 7 rebounds in Athens the past three seasons while leading Barca to wins each time. Now let's talk about the playoff possibilities of round number 30. The timing of when this is published is relevant here because Real Madrid will have clinched the playoff spot on Tuesday night if Fenerbahce loses against Milan. If Milan wins, Real also advances if it wins on Friday in Bologna or even earlier if certain other teams lose. Now Barcelona can also advance with a win in Athens or if other games go its way. Monaco is also knocking on the door of the playoffs this week, but will need to beat Valencia as well as having other results in its favor. Only one game in round 30 pits two teams in the playoff zone against each other, and that sees top ranked Olympiacos goes into the Stark Arena to face Partizan. However, several teams just outside the playoff zone face key matchups, including Zalgiris visiting Fenerbahce. Flashing back to round 17, Zalgiris won by 20, playing in Kaunas. Last but not least, let's talk about the EuroLeague MVP race where Vezenkov has plenty of arguments in his favor. After all, he has already been named the EuroLeague MVP of the month twice this season. Vezenkov leads the EuroLeague in three statistical categories. He is the top scorer of the competition with 18.2 points per game, in addition to ranking first for rebounds with 7.2 rebounds per game and being the runway leader in performance index rating with 22.9 points. Most importantly, he made sure with his performances that his team Olympiacos would be the first team to qualify for the playoffs and that is also quite an accomplishment as well. That was another episode of EuroLeague Pick Empire by RG Prime. With all the remarkable performances we witnessed this past week, the latest trends and of course all the playoff possibilities for this upcoming round. See you next week!